cube root of perfect cube. How to find the cube root of these perfect cubes? To know the trick, first you should know the cube of the numbers 1 till 10. So let's list out the cube of the numbers 1 till 10. 1 cube, it's 1. 2 cube, it's 2 into 2 into 2, which is 8. 3 cube, it's 27. And 4 cube, 64. 5 cube, 125. 6 cube, 260. 7 cube, it's 343. 8 cube, it's 512. 9 cube, 729. And 10 cube, it's 1000. So from this table, you will come to know that if a cube ends with 1, its cube root ends with 1. If a cube ends with 1, cube root ends with 1. If a cube ends with 4, cube root ends with same 4. If a cube ends with 5, cube root ends with same 5. And if cube ends with 6, cube root ends with same 6. If a cube ends with 9, cube root ends with same 9. If a cube ends with 0, cube root ends with same 0. Same digit 0. So for 1, if the cube ends with 1, then its cube root ends with same 1. If the cube ends with uh, 4, cube root ends with 4, same 4. And 5, same 5. 6, same. Then it's 9, same. 0, same. Rest, if the cube ends with 8, then its cube root ends with 2. Same, if the cube ends with 2, its cube root ends with 8. So this number, it's opposite. If the cube ends with 8, cube root ends with 2. And if the cube ends with 2, cube root ends with 8. Next, if the cube ends with 7, cube root ends with 3. If the cube ends with 3, then its cube root ends with 7. So 7 and 3, it's opposite. And you should know these things to find the cube root. So let's start finding the cubic root of these perfect cubes. First one, take the number and first step, just divide this number into groups. Take the last three digits as one group. The remaining digit another group. Next step, just check the unit digit in this group. Unit digit is 1. So if a cube ends with 1, we know its cube root. Its cube root ends with 1. If a cube ends with 1, cube root ends with 1. So this replace this three digit as 1. That is, the square root ends with, the cube root ends with 1. Next, take this uh, group. This group has only one digit, which is 1. Take this one and check this is close to which cube. This one is close to the cube this. So, take its cube root, which is 1. So, now we got the cube root of 1331, which is 11. That's it. Let's move to the next number. This 13,824, take the number and divide it into group. Last three digits, one group. The remaining digits, another group. Check the unit digit in this rightmost group. It ends with 4. If the number, if the cube ends with 4, its cube root ends with 4. So just replace that. Next, take this group. 13, 13 is close to the cube. 13 is close to the cube, 8. So take its cube root, 2. That's it. We got the cube root of this number, which is 24. Next, this number. Take the last three digits, one group. Remaining digits, another group. Now, check the unit digit. If the cube root, cube ends with 5, its cube root is, ends with 5. So, replace that. Next, take this group. It has 42. 42 is close to the cube number. It's 27 and 64, which we have to take. We have to take the number which is lesser than this. Close to this and lesser than this. So the cube which is close to this and lesser than this is 27. Take its cube root 3. So cube root of this number is 35. So how to find the cube root? Just take the number and divide the last three, divide it into groups. That is last three digits one group. The remaining digits in another group. Next step, check the unit digit in this group. It ends with 6. If the cube Ends with 6, cubic root ends with 6. So write the cubic root. Now take this group. This 438 is close to the cube number. 
So this is close to the cube 512. But we should not take the number which is bigger than this. We should take the number which is lesser than this and close to it. So it is 343. And its cube root is 7. So now the cube root of this number is 76. Next, take this number. Now check the unit digit. It ends with 2. If the cube ends with 2, its cubic root is ends with 8. So write 8. Next, this 941, it's close to 1000, but we should not take this. We should take the number which is lesser than that, that is 729. So, its cubic root is 9. So, it's 98. Next, this one. Take the last three digits, one group, the remaining digits in another group. So, this group has four digits, okay. Now, check the unit digit, it ends with 8. If the cube ends with 8, cubic root is 2. Next, this is close to the cube 1000. Take its cubic root. So, take. Hence, 102 is the cube root of this number. So, to find the cube root of perfect square cubes, first, just divide the number into groups. The rightmost group should have three digits. Then, the remaining digits in the leftmost group. Now, check the unit digit in this rightmost group. If it ends with 1, 4, 5, 6, 9, 0, let's say same. Cube root will be, cube root also ends with the same digit. If, else, if the cube ends with 2, then cubic root ends with 8. Then if the cube ends with 8, then its cubic root ends with 2. Next step, just take the leftmost group and check the cube which is close to this. Take its cubic root and write that. That's it. Next is the cube root of decimals. How to find the cube root of these decimals and which is perfect cubes? So to find the cube root of this, first step, take this number without point as 3, 4, 3. Next step, as we did in the previous, just continue the same. That is, you will be dividing this into groups. The last three digits as one group. It has only three digits, so leave it. Next, you will check the unit digit. If the it, cube ends with 3, its cube root ends with 7. We got the cube root. Now, we have to insert the point. To insert the point, just check the uh, cube. How many decimal places in this cube? It has 3 decimal places. So, take this value and divide it by 3. So, answer is 1. It means that cube root should have 1 decimal place. So, this is the cube root. To insert the decimal point, just move 1 place towards left and put the point. So, the cube root of this number is 0 0.7. And this trick is applicable if the decimal number, in a decimal number, if the decimal places, in the number of decimal places, if it is 3 or 6 or 9 or 12, that is 3 multiples. If the decimal places, number of decimal places is 3 multiples, then this trick can be is applicable. See here 3 decimal place, here 6 decimal place applicable and here 3 decimal place so you can apply the trick and here it's 9 decimal place which is a multiple of 3. So if the number of decimal places is a multiple of 3 then you can apply this trick to find the cube root. So let's continue the trick for the next number. Here the number is this. So take the number without point as 3 3, 7, 5. The next step, you will be dividing this number into groups as the last three digit as one group, the remaining is another group. Next step, you will be checking the unit digit. If the cube ends with 5, its cube root ends with same 5, so replace that. Then take this number and check the cube which is close to it. The cube which is close to this is 1, take its cube root. Next, we have found the cube root, but we have to insert the point. To insert the point, check the decimal places in the cube. Cube has 6 decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Divide this by 3. So, we will get 2. It means that the cube root should have 2 decimal places. So, start from here. 1, 2. So, now we got the cube root with 2 decimal places. That's it next number so the next number 
take this number with third point as 205379. Next, divide this number as groups. Last three digit, remaining digit in another group. Check the unit digit. If the cube ends with 9, cube root ends with same 9. Then take this number. This is close to the cube. 205 is close to 216. But we should not take this. We should take the number which is lesser than that. So it's 125. Take its cube root. It's 5. Now to insert the point, check the decimal places. 3 decimal place. So 3 divided by 3, 1. The cube root should have 1 decimal place. So move and put the point. So the cube root of this number is 5.9. So to find the cube root of the decimal numbers, first take the number without point. Remove the point and write that. Next step, just divide this number into groups. Last three digits, one group, remaining digits and another group. Next step, check the unit digit. If the num cube ends with 7, its cube root ends with 3. Then take this number and check the cube which is close to this. 12 is close to the cube 8. So it's cube root. Take its cube root 2. Now to insert the point, just check the number of decimal places. It has 9 decimal place. So the answer should have, that is cube root should have 9 divided by 3, 3 uh, decimal place. So now 1, 2, 3. So insert 0 and then point. The answer is point. 0, 2, 3. And this trick is applicable if the decimal places, number of decimal places is a 3 multiple, whether it is 3 or if it is 6 or if it is 9, then you can apply this trick to find the uh, cube root. Next is the cube root of non perfect cube. To find the cube root of non-perfect cube, first take the number and check the cube which is close to it. 175 is close to the cube 125. So write this 175 as 125 plus 50 is 175. That is write in this form. And next step, take the cube root of this 125. Cube root of 125 is 5. So replace this 125 as 5. Then plus 50 divided by 3 into this cube root, the whole square. So 3 into this cube root, which is 5 square. So next, 50 divided by 3 into 5 square is 25. Then cancel this. It's 2 by 3. 2 by 3 is 0 0.66. So 5 plus 0 0.66 is 5.66. Cube root of this 175 is 5.66. Next, cube root of 576. 576 is close to the cube 512. So this can be written as 512 plus 64. 512 cube root is 8. Plus the 64 divided by 3 into this 8, the square. So 8 square is 64. Cancel this. So it's 1 divided by 3. 1 divided by 3, answer is 0 0.33. So 8 plus 0 0.33 is 8.33. Cube root of this is 8.33. Let's find the cube root of one more number. It's 243. To find the cube root of this, check the cube which is close to this. 243 is close to 216. So write this as 216 plus 27 is 243. And 2 and 6 cube root is 6. So 6 plus 27 divided by 3 into the 6 square. So that is 3 into 36. Then cancel this. So you'll get 1 by 4. So 1 divided by 4 answer is 0 0.25. So 6 plus 0 0.25 is 6.25. So this cube root 243 cube root is 6.25.